founders are hard to work or hard to coach, aren't they? And I said, I don't know, have you met every founder in this country? I haven't. I've only met a few. I work with two and mm. I've only met a few. So let's not sit here and generalize and yeah. become part of, let's not become part of the problem. Let's not stereotype IT folk or PNC folk or founders mm. or CEOs of large organizations because by doing that, we're hindering them and we're setting up future founders, especially young ones straight out of university and the the the, the generational gap is a concern of mine. When they're, when they're looking, when the younger generation is looking at the criticism, even in politics, mm. if you like, I'm not going to go there, but if you're okay. looking at the criticism that someone in the arena is getting, my worry is my kids are going to look at that, look at that and go, oh, gee, it looks like it sucks to be a founder because you're, mm. all you do is just get told that you're a stereotype of you're an innovator or an inventor or a genius. Therefore, you have no emotional intelligence, for example. That mm. all sounds hard. That just is not for me. So I worry that generationally we will have less founders in decades to come. We want to make that to be an appealing. We want to support founders. We want to mm. support executive leaders and say, hang on a minute, not everyone is perfect. 